Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for around the 22nd, the Daily Vibes. So, we're just going to see what comes up. As I just started to shuffle, one card came out. It was the Knight of Wands. So that is something happening very, very fast. This is very fast, very fast moving, very fierce energy. Um, wow. This is like moving extremely fast, getting getting going, getting out of here, getting out of here or going someplace in a hurry. It's on fire. This is on fire. This is, this is go, go. That's what I just go. Anyhow, um, gotta go get, look at that. This is like, go now, you know, that kind of thing. Gotta go now. Anyhow, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd. And there could be something that happens so fast that you don't even have time to react. I mean, that is a, that is, Something happening really, really fast. Could be an arrival or a departure. Extremely got to do it. Going. In a hurry. The magician taking action to bring success. This is a yes answer. This is somebody that is taking action. They're going to do whatever it takes. This is somebody that is using all their resources. They are creating something. They're doing something. Um... Gracious. Action, action, it's action time. They get prepared for a show. We're going to have a show here. Four of Cups. Discontent. We have somebody here that is discontent. They are... They are missing an opportunity. They're ignoring an opportunity. They're just sitting there waiting. They're waiting. They're, they're waiting for something. Action. Is, somebody is coming in really, really fast. This person is just feeling alone, feeling distressed. I feel like you notice this in this Four of Cups. This person is just sitting there alone in their emotions. Thinking, thinking about what they want. Behind it is the magician in the Knight of Wands. So that is that is something coming in extremely fast. Get prepared for a change. Get prepared for a show. Okay, there's somebody. This is like showing up. The magician. What's the magician do? The magician puts on a show. Okay, so that's why I keep saying show. So action is about to be taken. Um, as above, so below. This is some divine, divine connection. Something that you asked for. We have, we have something happening extremely fast. Something is coming in. You don't see it coming because this Four of Cups is facing away from the Knight of Wands. This person is fierce. They are feisty. They're fearless. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Magician is Gemini. We have one person here that is just sitting there feeling alone, uh, discontent, waiting. Not seeing an opportunity, not seeing that it's coming. But they've manifested it because the Magician is manifestation. So somebody has manifested it. 
Now, I, I had a comment yesterday that said, manifest a certain person. Manifest this person back into your life. You can't, that's, you can't do that. Are you kidding me? That's not going to work. You can't make somebody love you. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. You can manifest, you know, what the higher power wants for you, but you can't put a name on it. Somebody's been waiting for what they asked for, and it's coming. It is absolutely coming. But it's, it may not be what you think because of the Three of Cups over here. It's like somebody is focused on some sort of emotional loss, not realizing that there's something else coming in. You have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. That's the magician's energy. Hierophant. Could be dealing with the Taurus, but this is about commitment. It's about believing. It's about faith and trust. Direct connection to God. The Hierophant is a card of commitment. Yes. We have we have somebody that has manifested some sort of arrival. Things are gonna change really, really fast. Get prepared for a show. You need to believe. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe. You need to have faith. Have faith in the divine. Hierophant is right underneath the magician. Hierophant is faith. The magician is divine. Have faith in the divine. Believe. There is something that is coming in really, 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 really fast. It's something that you asked for, but I don't think it's what you expect. I don't. I think it's it's not what you expect. I don't feel like it's what you expect because the magician is about willingness. It's about willingness to shed the old, to bring in the new. We have somebody that is taking action. This is somebody that is spiritual that is spiritually connected. Page of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Cups reversed, right? Right behind that Knight of Wands. Queen of Cups reversed is emotionally withdrawn, emotional shutdown. Um, Emotionally unavailable. Not giving with the Page of Pentacles. Reverse. Dead end. Um, n no. No. Uh, not. Not focusing. Lack of focus. Lack of. Lack of laziness. Well, we have laziness here. We have laziness. We have. Um, not giving, not giving, not putting in any effort. We have somebody here that isn't putting in any effort. They're emotionally withdrawn. They're, they don't want to do anything. They're lazy. They're complacent. This is a dead end. That's what's causing action to be taken. I mean, the Queen of Cups in reverse is emotionally withdrawn. It's emotions, unable to master emotions, unstable. Page of Pentacles reversed right next to the Queen of Wands. It came out together. So that's emotionally unstable, ungrounded, definitely ungrounded. We have somebody, emotions all over the place. So there could be an outburst ahead. Mm-hmm. Could have somebody here that has an emotional outburst. They're unstable. Emotionally unstable. There is some sort, I feel like there's sad news that is coming or there's some sort of sadness here as well. This Knight of Wands, this is somebody that is, this is an arrival, things changing fast. Somebody, this is like, I'm getting out of this situation, getting out really, really fast, heading towards success. The magician uses their resources to create success. They do whatever it takes to bring success. So somebody is definitely taking action in regards to uh, what they want.
Four of Swords, death of a situation, exhausted, tired, fed up. Um, this is the death of a situation, okay? We have the Three of Swords and we have the One Sword down there. That looks like it's a death to me. So it is the end. It is the end of something. It's the end of a commitment. It's the end of a dead end. This is a dead end. It is a dead end. This is this is some sort of illness as well. I feel like we have somebody here that isn't healthy. They're not healthy. They're in an unhealthy foundation because of these fours. Unhealthy commitment. This is they've they've reached the point where they can't do this anymore. It feels like it's prison. They're imprisoned. They're they're hurting. They're suffering. They can't get up. They've reached the end. There's, there's no reason to put effort into this anymore. There's no love being reciprocated. This is love lost. Um, somebody is dealing with an individual who isn't giving them the love that they need. The love is gone. It feels like the love is gone. They've been holding on. They haven't been mastering their emotions. But I feel like things are about to change sudden. It's very sudden. It's like instant Four of Swords, you know that Three Swords, that's hurt, that's pain, that's betrayal. Somebody may receive some news, I don't know, the Page of Pentacles reverse is like, it could be disloyalty, unfaithfulness. We could have somebody here that has a wandering eye, you know, that isn't committed. They don't want it, they don't want to put in effort, they don't want to do anything. This person doesn't, doesn't have a lot to offer, they just... are not willing to give, they're not willing to do anything to make things better, and that's what's sparking, that's what's sparking the change. Four of Swords, this is the death of a person or idea. This is this is too much, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. Somebody's gut, maybe they may be divinely guided because like I said, the magician is divine, the hierophant is guidance. Okay, that's that's, guidance divinely guided to go divinely guided to you know uh, stop to stop and take action to stop going in that direction it's action time it is definitely 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 action time we have an individual here that has been waiting they've been they've been ignored or they have been waiting for somebody it feels like waiting for somebody to love them with that four of cups i mean that's what it looks like to me divinely guided there's a divinely guided ending here as well there is Communication is ending. Somebody is 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 stopping communication with somebody. They're giving up. They're giving up. They're going in a new direction. Definitely fearless. This is a very courageous act. This person is going to do whatever it takes. They're going to do whatever it takes to have success. Somebody has been ignored. They've been ignored. But I feel like that is about to change. It's all coming to an end. Temperance. Blending to create harmony. This is cooperating. It is reevaluating. There could be a reunion here. This is um, accepting and allowing that change is needed. This is compromising. Um, timing. Divine timing. And we have a lot of divine guidance here. Divine timing. Temperance comes after death. So we do have the death of a situation, the end of something where 
something better because something better comes after that. So somebody's going to be going after something better. Where there's equality, where there's peace and harmony and balance. and So we, I do see blending here, blending, uh, creating, creating, uh, manifesting as well. I mean, we, we have an alchemist here a couple times. This is like getting what you asked for, creating, uh, balancing, compromising. It's time. I feel like there's been some sort of... Uh, misunderstanding but I feel like this misunderstanding is going to be cleared up somebody has been dealing with an individual that is emotionally closed off and that is coming to an end it is this person's emotions are all over the place and there's going to be an it's going to this is whoever they're dealing with is exhausted and fed up and is giving up it's like I can't do this anymore I can't do this anymore I feel like they're they're dealing with somebody that may be uh, I don't know I want to say playing mind games with them I don't know why I want to say somebody's been being um, somebody's been played with you know and played with in their mind um, but anyway making a, an exit somebody may be making an exit they may be making an entrance the knight of wands is fast paced energy action it's action time willing to do whatever it takes somebody is going to be making a, an approach to somebody that they probably ignored maybe it's because they um are exhausted and fed up they were taking a break they were thinking a lot they were in some sort of commitment I feel like that commitment is over they may have been stuck there they couldn't make a move now there's a change this is a big 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 change um, exchanging something lesser for something better this the ten of wands is in reverse is dropping baggage dropping weight dropping out making a conscious change letting something go that was holding them down somebody is definitely about to uh get something better they're about to and it's something that they asked for but it's not what you think it's not what you think We have an individual that has been sitting here waiting for commitment because the Hierophant is commitment. And there is somebody coming in with some sort of exciting offer. This is something that you asked for. You will need to uh, accept and allow and go with the flow. Go with the flow with the Temperance card. Open your heart. Open your heart. We may have somebody here that has closed themselves off emotionally. And there's a need to go with it. Go with it. You know, this could be a healing energy. Temperance is healing. There is something coming in that is very, very passionate. This is what you asked for. It may not be what you expect. This could lead to some sort of commitment. This is what you asked for. Okay, this is divinely guided this is gonna this is a very healing energy this is the could be the end of stagnation you need to open your heart temperance reverse i mean temperance upright this is about um receiving something better cooperate compromise um accept and allow that whatever ended ended for a reason reason temperance is a card of reason it's a card of purpose it comes after death an ending that happened it, it, it hurt you break time is over okay your break time is over it's time for you to get up it's time for you to live again okay it's, it is stalling delays we have somebody here that hasn't been able to master their emotions they've they're they've been in some sort of state of illusion with the queen of cups reverse they've been 
you know, not grounded at all. It's time it, with a page of pentacles reversed right next to it. That's not grounded, not realistic, not practical. You got to be practical here. You got to, you got to be practical. Be, be, get, get real. It's time. Temperance is a card of timing. It is time for you to receive. So this is like receiving, getting something better. It's the, the death happened for a reason. The ending happened for a reason. This is, it's, it's time. It's time, okay? It's time. Get prepared. This is making a conscious change. Drop that emotional baggage. We talk about this. This is the energy. We have, a, we have a commitment here that is coming in. You need to have faith. You need to believe. You need to open up. You need to look at things from a new perspective. Be willing to shed the old, to bring in the new. Master your emotions. It's time to take action and go in a new direction. Stop focusing on the loss. Stop focusing on the heartache. Stop focusing on the pain. Go down the path that you need to go down, even if it means that you're going to have to put in a little bit of extra work. Or you might have to do some work. Being lazy and complacent and sitting there hoping and praying for somebody that just about killed you in some way or broke your heart or stabbed you, whatever the hell they did, is not the answer. It's time for something better. Drop that baggage. Drop that burden. Don't bring it with you. So this is this is like dropping it, okay? The Ten of Wands reversed. It really is. This is dropping it. This is freeing yourself. And 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 balance awaits. You know, your balance temperance is a card of balance as well. This is about creating balance in your life and about creating harmony and going with the flow and accepting that something is over and receiving something better. So the timing is on you. We'd be talking about divine timing a lot. People, some people don't get it. The timing is on is, is when you're ready. It's when you're ready to release and let go of the baggage that you have been carrying on your back. That this this load, drop it. Again, with the Page of Pentacles reversed, is also drop it. Drop it. Drop the dead weight. It's time to have, and this could have to even do with weight for some of you. Somebody needs to find their resources. They need to find their willpower and their, the magician. Okay, that's willpower, discipline. This is, this is it. This is take action. Take action to create the life that you want. But you cannot manifest somebody back into your life because free will plays a part. And I just need to reiterate that. For all of you people that are in fantasy land, because we definitely have somebody here who is, that thinks that they can do that, you are wasting your time. There's only one person that is in control, and it ain't you. It's God. There is not one human being in this world, on this earth, that has the power to control another person's free will. It's time to release and accept and allow that something has ended. It's time for you to mingle. It's time for you to open up And come back down to reality. Somebody needs to be a real serious reality check here. It's time for a change. If there's no love here, which there ain't. Because there ain't. Action, it's action time. And there is somebody here that is coming in with a very exciting offer. That, yes, you should take it. Good luck.